Good evening and welcome back guys. In the last video, just in case you didn't watch it, we had a massive 7-1 win against Barcelona to keep ourselves 9 points clear of Real Madrid who are in 2nd. Now we're playing Atletico Madrid today who are in 3rd and I believe we're 23 points out of them. It's a massive difference there. And as you can see from the lineup, lots of changes just due to some tired bodies. There's only been a few days between the two matches. The only people continuing in their starting position from the last match are Pedri, Messi and I think that's it actually. Let's jump in, see if we can have another convincing win and lots more goals playing in a wonderful stadium today at Atletico Madrid if I can get my words out if you haven't uh, seen the last video go check it out it was a great win against Barcelona I'm recording this directly afterwards I normally record in batches I said that in the last video I normally record a few episodes at a time just for other commitments you know work and um you know, I've got a, a 12 year old child and things like that so I'm busy a lot of the time when I get a, a few hours spare I'll normally play you know a few episodes in a row get them recorded but how we're going to get on today now Diaby starting on the left which is technically his favorite position he's captain for today he is the vice captain Martinelli's rested so he's taken over that duty today that's a poor pass but yeah, lots of changes. Tired bodies. Got a great squad though. So we've got the likes of As Asp uh Zirkov, who's a, a regen. They're both regens actually. Kostner, who's come back in. Unc Bonner, who's a regen. Messi did start the last match, but he, he did come off after about an hour. He had a good, very good game. So he's not uh, that tired. Mariba came on as a sub as well in the last match. Pedri played. Didn't... Uh, have his best game, he wasn't poor, just uh, other players were better. Castro was man of the match, got two goals. That's not a very good pass, but it gets through. A little bit sloppy so far. Oh, nice play there though, Zirkov. Now Lee Kangin, who's come in, or Kangin Lee, I was still say it like both ways. Yeah, but I would appreciate you guys, you know, if, if you can, I don't like to be one of those YouTubers that's like, hit the like button and all that. But, you know, if you can, it is much appreciated because it does help the channel. And it's just nice to see as well, from my point of view, you know, I put time into playing these and recording them and editing them and all that sort of stuff. And it's, I do it because I like it, but it is nice to get some likes and especially comments, actually. It'd be great if people could drop a comment below just to let me know what they think of of well this game or this series um you know what are you playing at the moment do you play eFootball um which is obviously the latest iteration of well Konami football game in the Pez sort of world I don't play it myself just because I'm waiting for the Master League to come out God knows when that's gonna be here's Yerkov oh deflecting a very good save it's all about reactions there it was Fairly close to him, but he had to react very quickly. Good tackle there. It's not quite as fluent as... Uh, well, nowhere near as fluent as the last game. Oh, that's sloppy. I'm trying to win the ball back. I fouled him. Oh, I played advantage by quite a long time there. Um, it was a bit unfortunate. He just sort of slipped over and fouled the player. Yeah, a lot of the possession, but we're not doing much with it. So, it hasn't been the best start. That... Anyway, here's Messi. I always... I feel like I do play like this sometimes against Atletico Madrid. They're a difficult team to play against. Here's Messi. Oh, that's poor from him. Players are not playing like they normally do. Lee Kang in. Pedri, nice footwork there. Now Diaby, he gets fouled. Free kick in a very dangerous position here. Question is, who's going to take it? Oh, you've got to give Messi a go, haven't you? Oof, just hit to the top of the wall. That looked good. And that's another... A foul against us. Oh, it's offside. I mean, the ball wasn't playing to him. It was playing to Zirgoff, who was going to get on it. Never mind. Yeah, nearly half an hour gone and not really any chances. 
very much the opposite of the last game. I think we were, was it 3-0 up by 20 minutes, maybe? Well, first chance of the match goes to Atletico. Good save by Schubert, but you would expect him to make that. And making a lot of changes doesn't always help. Um, you know, the team chemistry and all that sort of stuff. So, but we do that a lot. Oh, good save, uh, block there rather. Here's Xerxes, it's hardly had the ball. Nearly losing it again there. That's better. And now Xerxes, oh, just beyond him. I thought he was going to get on it. It's a beautiful uh, move. Just that last pass was slightly over hit. Now DRB, the captain, what can he do? Can he inspire the team to start playing a little bit better? Here's Kang and Lee, Messi. Oh, Pedri was in there. Oh, I'm a loser. Get it back though. Here's Diaby. Oh, nice little turn there. Defender just caught him. Good tackle in the end. Pedri. Lee Kang in. Sixty. And it's 1-0 on the stroke of half time. There's going to be no minutes added on. It's been a struggle this half. And Xerxes with well, probably his only maybe third touch of the game. Gets the goal. Pedro does well there. Comes to Kang and Lee and it's a really nice ball. It's been a struggle to break them down. He must have just been on the shoulder of the uh, defenders. Yep, yeah, just about onside. It's a really nice finish. And that should be half time. And there it is. 1 0 at half time. But that half, in some way, just goes to show why I love this game so much because you do get a lot of different games. You know, the last one we beat Barcelona 7-1, it was like very fluent and open and lots of chances, some great play. Oh, here's Xerxes again. Oh, it was nearly a repeat. Kang and Lee with the potential assist there. Where you at? It's just behind Messi. And, well, that wasn't really Messi's fault, it was a terrible pass. Could be caught on the counter here. We'll get it then. Jesus. But yeah, you know, you get very different games. You can go from playing ridiculously sublime and then to struggling like this. I mean, often we play well and we win pretty much all of our matches. But, uh. Oof. Oh no, it's over. Pedri expecting a score there. He somehow wins it back and just blasts it over the bar. No one's had a, a great game today, but it's all about getting those three points if we can. Great tackle by Kosinu. Let's see. Oh, I shouldn't have... I was just about to say something. Good tackle from Costner again. Here's Messi. What is going on with the passing today? People just aren't connecting. It wasn't a bad pass, but yeah, they're just not quite with it. Messi again though. 
Dang it, they losing it again. I was going to say just before, which is why I stopped. Kangan Lee's maybe been one of our better players and then he's given it away twice since I was just about to say that. Well, we'll have a look at the bench to see if we want to make any changes. I'm not sure. So we are going to bring on Modric for Kangan Lee and we're going to bring on Bellingham for Pedri. And we're not actually going to make the last substitution because tied bodies and the other option really is Mudrick, but he's on a downward red. Yeah, and Modric scored in his last game. He, had a, he came on as a sub and scored. Oh, hits the crossbar. The free kicks are ridiculous on this game. So overpowered um, by the AI. Oh, come on. Got the ball there. There's nothing you can do about the free kicks either. You can put a man on the line. You can try and run the keep over by holding triangle. Um, and it just doesn't work. The keeper just doesn't move over pretty much. He moves like a couple of inches. Anyway, it's still 1-0. That's the main thing. Nice play there. Diaby not involved as much as I want him to today. Like I say, no one's had a great game. It's another bad ball. I was trying to play to Diaby, not across there. God's sake. I actually wasn't trying to make that tackle there. I don't know why he slid in, but um, probably just as well to break up the play. Right, here's Zirksy. How's your beat? And that's a nice ball through to Messi. Now Modric. Nice ball back. But he needs support. He's got it from Modric. Ay, ay, ay. He is Bellingham. Giving a bit of energy to the team. And he gets fouled there, but we'll play on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good tackle. Now DRB. Again, it's a poor ball. The passing, it's just been sloppy. I know we're playing against a very tough team. You know, Atletico Madrid are one of those teams that are difficult to play against. But we definitely have not been at our best in the slightest. This isn't what I normally play like if you're new to the channel. As you can probably tell from that 7-1 win we had against Barcelona in the last match, that's more along the lines of how we play. Can we get another goal? We really need that second goal. Now oh, Messi needs that support. As for Laquette is there. That's the first time I've seen him in the match. Now Xerxes. Again, that's poor from DRB. He's really not had a great game. Modric, surely he's fouled there. How is that not a foul? It's absolutely taken out. Good tackle there. And he was fouled, but we'll play on. Oh. <laughs> well, we're just in the middle of an attack and he blows the whistle. But Xerxes gets the winner. I think he gets man of the match as well. Yeah, clearly, just getting the goal, he was probably man of the match. And the ratings weren't too bad when you consider how he played. Just want to apologise, because that's certainly not the sort of game that I normally play on the channel. And even if I'm struggling or not having the best game, it's normally pretty much end-to-end -end and, and still quite flowing. Please, we've got the win. Definitely a struggle, though.
So a struggle in that game. The next match is against Real Betis in the league at home. Should be a bit of an easier match there. I'm sure there'll be goals in that one. And then we've got the Copa del Rey against Real Sociedad. Hopefully we'll get through to the next stages. We're getting to that crunch time in the season. There's going to be some Champions League matches coming up. Obviously the Copa del Rey. And can we get another La Liga title on board? Really do appreciate guys' support. If you can, hit that like button. Drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.